It's fortunate that Mission Impossible 8 will hit theaters the following year because Mission Impossible. Dead Reckoning Part 1 left all fans with unanswered questions. Tom Cruise's character Ethan Hunt will return in the new film, which is officially titled Mission Impossible. Dead Reckoning Part 2, though writer and director Chris McQuarrie isn't so sure this is the end. What we do know is that Mission Impossible 8 will finish the epic two-part saga started in Dead Reckoning Part 1, whether or not this marks the end of the series. Will Ethan and the IMF crew end world hunger? We believe it is probable. Here is all the information you need to know about the upcoming mission. Impossible film as we wait to find out how the story ends. Major spoilers are coming up, so beware. Mission Impossible 8 is scheduled to hit theaters on June 28, 2024, following a few changes if there are no delays. Dead Reckoning Part 2 has been rescheduled multiple times, but at least production on the subsequent film has already begun. The current Mission Impossible movie took a production pause for promotion purposes, and filming is scheduled to resume in late summer. That is assuming that the writer's strike ends quickly, and that actors don't join them in going on strike. In the event of either strike, production will be unable to continue and a postponement of the release date is possible. Although Mission Impossible 8 doesn't yet have an official plot, we can already guess how the next film will start. While Gabriel is the game's antagonist, it's safe to claim that the true enemy, often referred to as the Entity, is an all-powerful AI. Since the creature has the ability to manipulate digital data and has already gained access to the global intelligence network, whomever controls it effectively has control over the entire planet. The Entity was developed by the United States government, and it was tested on the Sevastopol, a Russian submarine, solely to see whether it could help locate a stealth submarine. Naturally, the thing snapped and obliterated the submarine. The entity's source code is kept on the Sevastopol, and a cruciform key is required to access it. Fortunately, Ethan possesses the key, and at the conclusion of mission, Impossible 7, Paris informs him that he must locate Sevastopol. Despite not knowing its location, Ethan plans to locate it in order to eliminate the creature, which can only be done at its source. Gabriel, who is carrying out the entity's instructions, and obviously, the entity does not want to be destroyed, will be attempting to stop them. Mission Impossible 8 will be based on this conflict between Ethan and Gabriel, because Ethan is aware that Gabriel is aware of the location of Sevastopol. Although we anticipate there will be a great deal more spinach, this is at least where the following film will begin. Due to this station in Alaska, which is close to where the sub is buried in the Bering Sea, it explains why Donlo returns to the series. Though it was his fault that Donlo ended himself in Alaska in the first place, Ethan had better hope that he doesn't harbor resentment. Despite the fact that filming for Mission Impossible 8 has begun, we have yet to see any footage and may not until later this year, presuming that production has resumed.